hello everyone so this is our process control lab so in this lab in today's session we'll see how to determine the FOPDT approximation for a higher order system FOPDT means first order plus dead time so for a higher order system how to make an approximate simulink model or a process model which is equivalent to that higher order system but it will be expressed in terms of a first order system by using various methods called as Taylor's method and as well as Skogestad's half rule and then we will compare the responses of these two system using Taylor's and using Skogestad's half rule along with the original higher order system the uh, comparison or difference between the responses of these two systems right so first of all we need to know what is FOPDT approximation so the FOPDT model is often a reasonable approximation to a process behavior and has demonstrated utility for controller tuning rules to determine the process behavior that means whenever we want to determine the behavior of a process or analyze a, analyze the behavior of a process or whenever we need to apply the controller tuning rules various tuning rules are there uh, so it is very much easier for us to uh, apply these things or to utilize this uh, process behavior if the uh, process is in first order model right or for structuring de decouplers and feed forward control algorithms so few applications are there for which it will be easier to deal with FOPDT approximation and uh, one more thing is there uh, it, it is very time consuming for developing the transfer functions for higher order it may be convenient to work with an approximate lower order transfer function it will be very much easier and less time consuming uh, as compared to the higher order system that will give essentially the same type of dynamic responses just to reduce the order of system we need to reduce the order of system by using this uh, two methods today we'll see this two methods right so first of all we'll see the Taylor's method what is Taylor's method suppose we have a transfer function of a comparatively higher order right here you can see the transfer function is kp divided by tau s plus 1 tau tau 1 s plus 1 tau 2 s plus 1 tau 3 s plus 1 and tau 4 s plus 1 that means it is an example of typical fourth order system right it might be having uh, uh, the time constant uh, uh, three time constant having two time constants or having four time constant and so on as the time constants are increasing the uh, power of s power of this differential equation or uh, order of this differential equation will increase uh, and simultaneously the order of that particular system will also be higher so suppose it is a fourth order system so it will be equivalent to like this we can write this system in this manner so now kp will be uh, now the transfer function uh, using taylor's method the formula for uh, determining the uh, lower order or uh, uh, higher order higher order to uh, comparatively lower order that means we are converting this higher order system into a first order system if we want then the formula is kp divided by tau 1 s plus 1 that means this one into e raised to minus tau 2 s into e raised to minus tau 3 s into e raised to minus tau 4 s that means the overall first order approximation whatever we are determining the transfer function will be kp divided by tau 1 s plus 1 into e raised to minus tau 2 plus tau 3 plus tau 4 into s 
right we can write this from here that means the power of uh, exponent, uh, exponential term it will get added as it is in multiplication manner so this is the formula for Taylor's approximation from higher order to first order and if we want to approx uh, make an uh, determine or make an approximate second order model from a higher order then the formula will be like this kp divided by tau 1 s plus 1 into tau 2 s plus 1 this first two time constant will come in the denominator, uh, denominator part and this numerator part will be e raised to minus tau 2 plus tau 4 right this is the formula using Taylor's method for determining second order model and this is for first order model so today we will see to make an approximate model for higher order system into a first order system right so this is the Taylor method and for Skogested half rule Skogested's has proposed uh, proposed a related method which suggests that the largest neglected time constant should be split between the smallest retained time constant and the time delay so the model will be kp divided by tau 1 plus tau 2 divided by 2 that means half of tau 2 into s plus 1 this will be the overall time constant for the first order and the rest of the part in the numerator will be like this minus tau 2 divided by 2 plus tau 3 plus tau 4 this will be theta and this will be tau for the first order approximation and for second order the formula is like this so we'll discuss about this uh, second order approximation when we'll uh, see the practicals uh, hence further for higher order to second order conversion so today we'll see from the higher order to relatively lower order that means from higher order system to first order for uh, by using Skogestet's half rule and higher order to first order by using Taylor's method. We will deal with higher order system for converting into first order and here uh, Skogestet half rule for the same right. So you can see we have taken a transfer function that means 6 upon 2s plus 1 into 4s plus 1 into 6s plus 1 that means it is a third order system so for this third order system using Taylor k value is 6 as we have seen kp will remain the same tau is 6 as it is tau 1 s plus 1 tau 1 whatever the value of tau 1 it is 6 this one the highest will treat it as tau 1 then this is tau 2 this is tau 3 right and uh, the theta will be 4 plus 2 that means tau 2 plus tau 3 right so 4 plus 2 it is 6 so the overall first order transfer function which will show the same uh, behavior almost same behavior of that higher order system will be 6 into 6s plus 1 6 divided by 6s plus 1 into e raised to the e raised to minus 6s this is the first order approximation and using Skogested half rule you can see k is equal to 6 tau is equal to 6 plus 4 by 2 here you can see tau is equal to 6 plus 4 by 2 tau 1 plus tau 2 by 2 that means 6 plus 4 by 2 into s plus 1 and in the numerator part e raised to minus tau 2 by 2 plus tau 3 that means 4 by 2 plus 2 that means 2 plus 2 4 it will be e raised to the power minus 4 s that means theta value of theta is minus 4 right and uh, in the denominator part tau is 6 plus 4 by 2 which is 8 so these two are the approximation first order approximation for this 
third order system by using Taylor method and Skogstad's half rule. So we'll see the response by making a simulink model. So this will be the simulink model which I have prepared. I'll show you in the MATLAB also. You can see step signal uh, has been given to that particular system and along with that the Taylor approximation for first order system and the Skogstad half rule approximation for first order system which is nothing but equivalent to this third order transfer function right and we will see the output in the scope right the output will come like this this is the response of three different systems this is the original third order system this is the Skogestad approximation which is having smaller dead time and uh, this approximation is comparatively better than this Taylor you can easily comment from this response so from this response you can comment that whenever we approximate uh, whenever we determine the approximation of first order from this higher order using Taylor and Skogestad that comparatively from uh, this uh, graph we can say uh, Taylor approximation is having larger dead time than that of uh, Skogestad half road right this is having smaller dead time as well as this approximation is quite similar or quite better than this it deviates very much less than the original one right so this comments we can uh, make from this response or uh, we can say the conclusion from this output whatever we are getting using these two approximations so this is all about the uh, modeling part so we'll see in MATLAB now how to observe and how to create the model and how to observe the output so let's go for the MATLAB part so this is the MATLAB window I have opened and this is the model we have created using various simulink tools so as you will know how to create the simulink model we have already seen in the previous uh, video sessions also just call the function whatever we want the step signal we can easily type step here and just drag and drop here and transfer function similarly we can call every each and every blocks from this simulink library browser and just connect this various blocks with one another and prepare the simulate model for the said process so here we can see in the step signal the step time I have, I have given as zero that means initially you know, um, at zero at equal to zero the step signal of, uh, of amplitude uh, one which is having an amplitude amplitude one is applied and accordingly we'll see the output of this three that means this is the output of original third order system and this is the output of first order approximation determined from this third order system using Taylor's and this is first order approximation determined by using Skogstad half rule approximation from this third order system so uh, the numerators and denominators I need to define from this transfer function that means it was 6 numerator so as I have already shown you previously also this numerator is having value of 6 this denominator is having 2 and 1 then 2 and 1 likewise we can define the uh, every block of this transfer function right the details already I have mentioned here also so I will run this First of all, don't forget to save. Just save this uh, simulink model, whatever you are going to prepare. First of all, save this wherever the destination you want to save. After saving, you can run it and check the output. So I am putting the runtime as 50 here. Let's see 
for 50 seconds it is going to be run after running that simulating model we will open the scope and see the response this is the response right let's make it 70 seconds this is the response of this three systems this is for third order which is nothing but this one this blue line this is for Taylor approximation which is nothing but this brown one brown or orange uh, this Cobbestead's half rule approximation this is the response of this system so as I have already mentioned in the video previously also this original uh, system third order system the Taylor approximation it differs a little bit more compared to the Scoggested that means the dead time it is larger in the Taylor's approximation first order system and in case of the approximation uh, first order approximation using Scoggested it is having a comparatively low uh, value of dead time so you can see it is having a low dead time and uh, it is uh, giving a relatively uh, closer output as compared to the original one that means it's, it deviates little less and it's uh, tracking the original one quite accurately as compared to the tailor so these are the few uh, observations which we can conclude from this graph and make a conclusion or comment and we can determine the various other parameters also from this graph right k theta dead time uh, rise time time constant all these things from this graph itself also though we all know the uh, parameters of these three systems still we can also uh, compare it from determining from this graph also right so this is the whole experiment to prepare a relatively lower order system from uh, 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 from a comparatively higher order system using various approximation rules right thank you